Welcome to Alert Logic. To use the Alert Logic UI for the first time, enter your email address and password. Then click the orange login button. In this video, we're going to be adding a new AWS account to the Alert Logic UI. To get started, click on the menu icon from the left, go to configure, expand it, then click into deployments. Inside of this environment, I already have some accounts added, but we can add another. To add an AWS account, click the orange plus button and then click Amazon Web Services. Go ahead and enter a name for your deployment. Then click Save and Continue. The Essential Solution leverages an EC2 instance as a scan appliance. With the default automatic mode, Alert Logic is able to manage the appliance for you, spinning it up and then terminating it once it's finished scanning to save on EC2 runtime costs. You can then click save and continue. The solution requires an IAM policy and an IAM role. You can configure this manually via the manual IAM setup or use the CloudFormation setup. To use CloudFormation, click the blue link under Step 1. The link will open up a CloudFormation template directly in your AWS account. Scroll to the bottom, check the box, and then click the orange Create Stack button. This process usually takes 20 to 30 seconds to complete. Once it's complete, go to the Output section and copy the role on value. Return to the Alert Logic UI. Click the orange Continue button. Paste in your role on. And please note, if you have a multi-account setup that centralizes CloudTrail and 1S3 bucket, you'll need some additional configuration. More information can be found via the I infographic. Go ahead and save and continue. The solution will now go through a brief API discovery phase. During this portion, we're going to identify regions, VPCs, and subnets that are in use. Notice that the numbers in the upper right-hand corner start at zero, and as the API credentials are leveraged, the numbers increase. This process usually takes between two to three minutes. Once the process completes, click on the orange Continue button. On the discovery page, we're able to see discovered VPCs along the outside ring. The inside ring represents discovered AWS regions. Please note that Alert Logic discovers default unused VPCs. The solution also includes the ability to conduct external vulnerability scans. If you'd like to add external scan targets, go to the external assets section, click the orange plus button. You can add a DNS name or URL as well as external IP addresses. Once you've added all of your external scan targets, click the orange continue button. Next, we'll set the scope of protection. The scope of protection is set either to an AWS region or individual VPCs. I want to set US East 1 to be in scope. You can see if I click on the region, I'm able to move it to essentials, as well as I can go to the individual VPC and send it as well. Once you set any regions or VPCs to essentials that you're interested in, make sure to hit the save button. Now let's check out the scheduling options. By default, Alert Logic is going to attempt to scan all of the internal as well as external assets one time per day. If you'd like to change these to scan only weekly or monthly, you can do that as well. Or if you'd like to set specific times of the day or specific days of the week, you're able to come in and configure that as well. Once you have set it up the way you'd like, go ahead and click on the next button. 
And this completes the initial setup of the AWS account in the AlertLogic UI.